here are the places you don't want to miss when hitting up Korea's most famous shopping street, Myeongdong. First, you have to drop by Skin 104's new flagship store. Skin 104 is poppin' these days, so I couldn't miss out. It's very close to XS6. You walk straight from there and make a left turn in between these two shops. Guys, it's so beautiful here. The whole feel of the store is supposed to make you feel like Skin 104's concept of Madagascar and Centella. And I just love how you can test every single product and also ask questions in English if needed. The staffs were super duper friendly. Skin 104 has amazing products. I chose their sunscreen as my best of 2023, so you know it's good. And also, I've been obsessed with their cleansing oil and foam for years. Also, get camera ready because they have cute photo spots on the first floor and free photo booth upstairs too. And of course, the next thing you must do is to hit up all the stores. You can literally find anything and everything you want here, but of course, I had to stop by Olive Young. This one is huge because it has two different floors and it opened up not too long ago. I got a little too excited, but hey, it's okay. You're at Olive Young. And finally, after some major shopping, I got hungry so I hit up this spot called Myeongdong Kyoja for their handmade dumplings and kalguksu. Plus, their kimchi is so garlicky but so heavenly. It's a super popular cheap eats resto but is a Michelin guide restaurant so there may be a line but it is so freaking worth it and the line goes pretty fast. Alright guys, so I had a super packed and fun day at Myeongdong. Follow me for more adventures in Korea.